hi welcome back to my channel my name is janelle samora and this is sent top from my closet the fragrance closet on this channel we go over all things fragrance we cover niche perfume houses we go into layering combos we talk about dupes and clones of original fragrances we highlight indie perfume brands on the channel new releases all things fragrance if that's something you're interested in go ahead and continue watching consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos so you never know which fragrance house we're going to cover next all right, so I just had to jump in here. I've I've studied the fragrance. I have played around with a couple of combos, and I am ready to talk to you guys about the brand new. It's been out a few weeks, I think. <laughs> I'm a little late to this party, uh, but this is the new Victoria's Secret Teas Sugar Floor, and I was waiting. One of my friends said, I'm going to head out to the mall this weekend. I'm going to get my nose on it. You know, I'll let you know because, um, yeah, I don't want to be jumping at every single new release, but when she smelled it, she said, you're going to love it, and I said, okay. <laughs> so here it is. Let's go ahead and jump right in and review this. I'm going to talk to you guys about what it's giving me and also I've seen a, a couple of comparisons to a fragrance that I'm gonna have to disagree with so let's get right into it Victoria's Secret this is a limited edition Tea's Sugar Floor it is a floral gourmand fragrance now the campaign for this has um, marshmallows and caramel covering an apple I mean it's just all delectable looking on on the campaign love pink pink is my favorite color in case you haven't deciphered yet or i haven't let you know pink is my favorite color so this on the site it says this eau de parfum opens with a fresh tart pop of pink lady apple for a burst of energy at the heart jasmine buds are dipped in pink caramel with a surprisingly sophisticated hint of bubble gum at the base a glow of amber crystals and sandalwood softens the sweetness with comforting warmth let me tell you what I get so notes in here we just went over the description the notes we have pink lady apple jasmine buds pink caramel bubble gum amber crystals and sandalwood and um, it is officially gone from my skin at the moment I did apply this fragrance at 7 this morning Oh, it gives me straight up at the beginning I thought oh wow this just is completely reminiscent of a couple of fragrance I'm still hoarding them you guys I showed them a couple weeks ago oh so sexy this fragrance this is where it took my nose to but add some apple very very evident apple into this opening Oh yeah, it reminds me, look, this is all I have left of Oh So Sexy is my little uh, body splash, my travel size I got recently actually. I love this fragrance, but it does not last on me, not one bit. So I stopped buying this and I stopped buying the original teas. Um, you know, but maybe I should revisit because the Tease Creme Cloud is one of my favorites and this one's doing the trick too. It's so, it smells really nice. Okay, so that's where it takes my nose initially these fragrances that are already you know within the lines but added this pink lady apple i mean very very detectable apple i mean that's to me that's very different now this doesn't seem sexy or sensual in any way as it's drying down though you start to get a little bit of that caramel coming through. It is not cozy. It never warms up for me. I don't feel like the campaign says, you know, that it says the sweetness, you know, with comforting warmth. I don't get any warmth whatsoever from this fragrance. It, that is missing. Um, you know, and I, I just never, it, this is fun. This is bobbing for apples on Halloween. <laughs> this, you know, at the fair or something. Um, but it doesn't scream only wear this in cool weather. It's, it's an all year rounder, I feel. Um, since it reminds me so much of the oh so sexy and the teas mixed together, I want to categor categorize it as an after the shower type fragrance, uh, but um, it was actually pretty strong throughout the day. It was a good six hours and I did definitely receive a compliment with this fragrance. It's like, ooh, what are you wearing? I like it. 
whoa okay you like it so it is definitely a compliment getter people's are gonna smell this on you or at least on me it radiated off of me so it had a pretty nice projection my little girl this morning absolutely adored it i've been playing around with it for a couple of days so uh, we both wore it today she still smells her clothes still smell like this so it really clung on to her it gave me a very strong six hours and let me tell you what I feel the best part of this fragrance is where it differentiates itself from oh so sexy this is where it goes a different direction it has this sort of type of woodiness with this there's sandalwood in here yes it has this woody background that is so different then the you know i feel like oh so sexy doesn't have a backbone almost you know it's all uh, berries and and sugar this does not have that bam sugar component yes it's a really really sweet fragrance but at the same time it doesn't have like it's to me it's it it could do very well with some whipped cream or some marshmallow in here just like the campaign <laughs> kind of teases it doesn't give us that it's a little clean you know it's a little crisp and clear it's a, and now i can see why people are reviewing you know the people who are reviewing are like oh this is reminding me of kayali's eden juicy apple now the apple that is in here is different i believe it's red apple than the apple that we got going on in here not to mention this one has berries in it this is a really, really light fragrance, but at the same time, there's there's a little bit of almost caramelized sweetness in this fragrance, and it, it, it doesn't last too long either, <laughs> but you know, this one totally reminds me of Winter Candy Apple by Bath & Body Works. That's where Kayali's Eden Juicy Apple takes me and it doesn't have that woodiness in the background it does not have a backbone either i feel i feel um like that is a great topper offer i use eat and juicy apple almost as a body spray or body splash situation so this one definitely has a little more oomph to it a little more meat in there and so if you would like to know how you could combine this fragrance to give it a little more creaminess possibly. Um, you know, because of this woodiness that's in the background, I feel like we can hone in on that. Now, if you want to accentuate the apple, let's go there first. If you're not into layering combos, the review is over, but if you would like to see what body care you could safely use with this fragrance and not have it clash, not have it be cloying in any way, the fact that there's woodiness in this background really, really gives it gives it that ability to add more sweetness to the fragrance, I feel. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> I'm really, I love Victoria's Secret Oh So Sexy, but like I said, I stopped buying it uh, because it just wasn't lasting at all. This one gave a good six hours and that's, you know, pop the little roller ball that they sell in your bag and you're golden after the six hour mark, just reapply. Um, it'll stick to your clothes that that it would now Bath and Body Works champagne apple and honey you could definitely rub this all over spray your uh, teas sugar floor and top it top it off with your champagne apple and honey now you could also add some coconut to this fragrance oh yeah coconut candy apple if you have this from Bath and Body Works it would fly as well. We have candied red apple, shredded coconut, and vanilla spice. It would definitely go. I sprayed all of these together. Believe me. <laughs> um, all right. So this next one, I feel, I feel like this fragrance is got a little bit of floral in there with the jasmine buds. And I think that if you wanted to accentuate that, you could. If you have a favorite jasmine um definitely you could use something like pure wonder by bath and body works this has ice rose star jasmine and warm white amber and this would just mm, this would be so good with it <laughs> i would love to try i was actually thinking earlier i was like okay i would like to do pure wonder as my base all right and they also sell the lotion for this in case you just wanted to keep it straight up one scent i would do my pure wonder as my base then i would go in with 
either Victoria's Secret Tease Candy Noir or Victoria's Secret Very Sexy Night. Now, both of these fragrances are so good. They add a little bit. This one does not have apple, the Tease Candy Noir. Oh, but it's in the same realm. And this one has some sensuality to it for sure. So if you wanted to add some sensualness to this, oh yeah, you could do it with uh, Victoria's Secret Tease Candy Noir. Top it off here with um, your Pure Wonder. Now your Very Sexy Night has this extremely evident apple note. Oh yeah, but it also has that sexiness factor. So you could definitely pair Very Sexy Night here with your Tease Sugar Floor. Now, if you would like... Because of the woodiness in this background, I really, really feel like you could get away. And um, I did comment it to somebody and they went ahead and tried it out for me. And I'm so happy that it went well for them. Oh my gosh. Ah, congratulations. <laughs> you, you tested something out. So this is In the Stars by Bath & Body Works. And this has star flower, sandalwood, musk, sugar tangelo, white agarwood, and radiant amber. Yes, this would give it, you know, get, just grab onto that sandalwood that's in here and just accentuate it. And I really do feel like it would extend the wear. I think instead of six hours, we could get a solid eight. Definitely. Woo, this is good. In the stars with the new tea's sugar floor, I would so do. Now, along that same concept... In the Stars is rumored to smell like the infamous Baccarat Rouge 540. I would actually layer it with my Baccarat Rouge uh, 540 Extract. Why? Because this one gives me um, just more of a sweetness. Uh, definitely more sweet. This one gives me more woody. So the original Baccarat 540 gives me uh, nice and woody. It would perfectly mesh well with this. And this gives me sweet and almost cotton candy vibes. Love it. Love both of these. If you happen to own those, that would just... I know it sounds crazy, right? Mixing such a an expensive fragrance. But hey, I mean, if you want to... There's so many people wearing that out there. Sometimes you just got to mix it up and, and, and make it your own, okay? All right, so um, got to go. <laughs> got to go because dinner's here and child is going crazy. Um, child, the dog. There's one more I want to talk about. I'm going to give you guys a little teaser. Um, well, there's three more that I want to talk about as far as layering goes, but let me give you the teaser first. So, there is a fragrance called Noble 1942 by that brand, La Danza del Libuelo. I don't think I'm saying that right. <laughs> I'm going to practice before I get the kit. Um, I did order a discovery set of Noble 1942. I cannot wait till that arrives. That's going to be one of our houses coming up to review. All of the notes and those fragrances just sound impeccable. They sound like they are just, oh, masterfully crafted. And I just cannot wait to get a hold of this discovery set. Ooh, okay. All right. So that fragrance right there has red apple, bergamot, cinnamon, cedar, vanilla, coconut, and musk. And it is rumored that this tea's sugar floor smells a lot like it. But I don't know how that's going to fly because it, you know, this fragrance doesn't have any cinnamon and that fragrance is rumored, you know, to smell like it. And it has cinnamon and cedar and even a little bit of coconut. So I want to do a full head-to-head -head wear test when I do receive that. Uh, for you guys. I, if you're interested, let me know. <laughs> I know one person is. Thank you so much for tuning in and suggesting. Now, my last couple of suggestions are from indie perfume brands, uh, two that we've reviewed on the channel, and one of them is Kaisi Perfumes, and I recently got their Delicia de Marshmallow, and let me tell you, one of these nights, oh yes, I was like, where has this been all my life? I love Delicia de Marshmallow already, the, the fragrance oil, um, the Eau de Parfum, I'm sorry, and I got the body butter. This layered underneath the, the tea's sugar floor is amazing. It adds that marshmallow that this is missing. If you were looking for that or expecting it, you could totally layer this with it and it gives you that feeling. It gives you that, you know what it's missing. 
Now the last couple here, this one's also from Kaisi Perfumes. This is Suchero Filato and it's cotton candy, but this also has some vanilla in here and it makes it just so, oh, I haven't opened this one. I have the travel spray in my purse. I just ordered the bigger size. You guys, this one is the 30 ml size. I thought it was such a good size. Um, I ran out of this size. It's in my purse today, actually. And yes, it goes beautifully. I just want to spray you <laughs> open. Oh my gosh. I just want to spray it, you guys, because I absolutely love Suchero Filato. It is cotton candy, but like I'm saying, it is creamy. Oh yes, Suchero Filato would go beautifully. You see, you could totally add some some sugar to this without it being cloying because that apple is nice and crisp and the the woods that are in here just balance everything out victoria's secret's been coming out with some good ones you guys last but not least the house of glory here we go pink marshmallow milk this goes with almost anything sweet and edible smelling Oh yes, pink marshmallow milk has in it magical pink berries and frothy cold milk. And again, it's adding a little bit of creaminess uh, to this fragrance. And yes, I would I would so wear it. <laughs> so many different options we're gonna be having with tea's sugar floor. I'm not gonna lie, this one did have to grow on me because I thought, hmm, I've smelled this before. It completely smells like oh so sexy. But then it just gave me that really really juicy apple and then the layering ideas and it was very enjoyable not to mention the compliments my husband absolutely loved it i could tell because <laughs> he goes when he loves something and he was doing that and then of course my daughter it was it was a seven-year-old approved she loved it as well my little mini me okay thank you guys so much for tuning in i just thought i'd throw that out there because um i'm really excited about it i love i love when something works out especially when i thought you know when i have to give it a chance because i really wasn't <laughs> you're not gonna get crazy longevity out of this so don't think that it's gonna stick to your skin for 12 plus hours it will not um, you know, but applying it with a little roll-on, no problem. And trying out some of these layering combos as well. I feel confident that you'll be able to enjoy this, this new release by Victoria's Secret. Thank you guys so much for all your support on the channel. I truly, truly appreciate you. And um, we'll keep it rolling here. Thank you so much. Y'all stay safe out there. You have a great rest of your evening or your day. Thanks. Bye-bye.